Hello everyone. Welcome to Shri Hari's Crazy Studio. In this video, we will see how to print the final answer of a arithmetic calculation in decimal and we will see how we can get the number from user and perform its calculations. So, let's get started by not wasting more time. So, in last video we have seen how to perform arithmetic calculations in this we had assigned a value for a and b and we had performed addition subtraction multiplication and division in our last video we had taken numbers 7 and 3 and performed its calculations but when we performed the division the answer was 2 rather the answer should be in decimals because we are dividing odd numbers right so for that today we will see the another data type which is float so here i have given float and now this float will assign the decimals for each and every calculations so the answer of this division now will come in decimals up to six digits and the second thing today we are gonna see will be keywords which are used in C language. Two of them we already know which is INT and float. Other than these two, there are 32 keywords in C language which cannot be used as variables or constant or any other identifier names. So uh, other than these two INT, other than INT and float, there are character, if, else, for, while and so on. So there are two well-known data types which are commonly used in C language. Those are INT used to store integer numbers in the variables and carry out various functions. This data type removes the decimals in the final answer. The next one is float. Float is used to store numbers in the variable and carry out various functions. Float data type gives the final answer up to six decimals. So if you want to, so if someone wants to calculate the answer accurately in decimals, we can use float. Then the next thing which we are going to see today is interesting. That is to get the number from users and perform its calculations. Means like in calculators, we enter the number and then calculation is performed, right? So here today we are going to perform the same and to do so we need to use another command which is scanf. Scanf is used to take the input given from the user. So and as we are taking integer numbers we are going to type percent %d inside double quotes and then we need to store the store the numbers which are given from the users so for that we will take int a b c c will be used to store the answer and a and b will be used to store the input from the user so first scan f percent d inside round brackets then comma ampersand this is used to assign the input given by the user to this variable so suppose if i enter first number as 2 so 2 will be assigned to a variable and if i enter the second number as 4 4 will be assigned to variable b and then according to that calculations will be performed so we need to tell the user to enter the number so for that inside the printf command type enter the first number in printf command by this the message will print on command prompt that enter the first number by which user will come to know to now enter the first number and then second number after first number is given by user then we need to take the second number also right so for that before the scanf command of b we need to type printf enter the second number by which the user will come to know that to now enter the second number and when we are using float as data type and saving the variables we need to give percent %f everywhere instead of percent %d as we have seen in our previous video percent %d percent %f 
are called as format specifier so percent f is used to define data type of float as float gives the answer in decimal places so now we will practically test it so now we will open notepad plus plus and the previous arithmetic code here instead of i and t we will type float and where there is percent d instead of percent d we will type percent f so we have given the data type as float and format specifier as percent f instead of percent d now we will save it and now we will open command prompt give the location of file and gcc command arithmetic 3.c dash o a b c a b c so here you can see the answer of the calculation is now in decimals so if we will count the zeros after the decimal point there are six zeros which means the decimal place is up to six digits after the decimal point so and the division of seven by three the answer is 2.33 so by this using float as the data type we can get the answer of the calculations in decimals up to six digits so now we need to get the input numbers from the user right so for that instead of this line we will add the line which we have seen in our notes these two lines we will copy it and paste it so now here as we are using float as the data type instead of percent %d in scanf command we need to give percent %f and for first number that is a to assign the value for a we are using ampersand symbol which is nothing but the and symbol and before that we will print enter the first number in printf command by which user will come to know that now we need to enter first number and for b we will type enter second number and then instead of ampers and a we will type ampers and b so we need to type percent f inside the double quotes and then outside the double quotes comma ampers and b for second digit and ampers and a for first number now we will save it open the command prompt then type gcc arithmetic 3.c space dash o a b c now we will type a b c enter first number so as we had written enter first number so now to check that the answer comes in decimal point we, we will give odd numbers 5 then enter so now you can see it is asking for second number we will give 9 so here as you can see addition of 9 and 5 gives 14 subtraction of 5 minus 9 gives minus 4 multiplication of 5 and 9 is 45 and division of 5 by 9 is 0 0.5 times 5 and 6 so by this we come to know that we can perform calculations using float in which the number is assigned by the user so this is how a basic calculator works so in our next video we will see few of the important data storage types which are used in c language while assigning the values for the variables so today we will end our c programming session here if you like the video don't forget to like share and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel so thank you for watching have a nice day